Welcome to this research trip into our river communities. We invite you to join us to explore our river communities. We'll think about where water comes from, how it moves, and how it connects and interacts with us humans, animals, plants, and the weather. Give a voice to people, animals, plants, and water itself. Tell their stories. Also tell us what problems and conflicts you can identify, what they mean in each case for the people, animals, and plants that share this dwelling place, on and in the water, and what solutions and ideas you have. Be sensitive to the different forms of life, astute in recognizing the connections, critical of the conditions, and creative and liberated in your ideas and visions. Multi-species research is a form of ethnography. Ethnography seeks to learn about and understand the everyday world of a particular culture. How do people think, feel, speak, and act? How do they live together? To study a culture, ethnographers mingle with people and participate in their lives. The culture being studied can be a foreign culture, or one can study one's own culture as if it were a foreign one by looking at the familiar through the eyes of a stranger. What new things can you discover? Ethnography traditionally deals with human cultures. Here we deliberately want to include non-human, organic and inorganic life forms as cohabitants and actors. That's what the word multi-species means. How do other life forms perceive the riverscape? How do they move within it? And how do they interact with other life forms? What does coexistence with us humans mean to them? And what would they need to live and thrive better? River communities include not only conservation areas, but also human settlement space. For your own multi-species ethnography, choose a section of your river community that interests you and has personal meaning to you. In the next modules, we will provide you with short films and texts to assist you in your research. Module 2 gives an insight into freshwater systems and what changes and human interventions are taking place there and with what effects. Module 3 is about the human factor. What beliefs, cultural and economic practices and political structures influence how we interact with water and particular ecosystems? In Module 4, we will explain the ethnographic method in more detail so that you can independently explore and document what is exciting and important in your river community. In Module 5, there will be space for your scientific results and creative ideas and for exchange with other young researchers.